From a dozen cars catching fire at Newark Airport parking garage to a shocking video of a truck hitting at full speed by train in Oakland, bursting into flames or apartment building collapse in the Bronx, all show us that anything can happen in our lives no matter how strong and technologically mastered we are. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Watch till the end and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. <laughs> Let's get it on. In bustling Oakland 2021, an Amtrak train and a truck collided at a railway crossing. The collision was thunderous. Flames erupted and made Oakland pause in shock. Please remember to stop at a safe distance, check both directions for oncoming trains, and listen for warning signals. Never stop on the tracks and always leave enough space to clear the tracks completely if traffic gets backed up. Fort Myers, located along Florida's Gulf Coast. It's renowned for its stunning beaches, like Fort Myers Beach and Sanibel Island. Three years ago, a massive fire parking lot fire torches more than 3,500 vehicles at Southwest Florida International Airport. blaze that started with just a few vehicles continued to burn intensely for over six or more hours, triggering a massive multi-alarm response that sent dozens of units from across Lee, Collier and Charlotte counties to the scene. A total of 3,516 vehicles were damaged or destroyed, and 3,850 vehicles were saved, while 15 acres of nearby forest was burned as well. The building was under renovation and suddenly collapsed in Washington, D.C. A fire truck a block away saw the building starting to crumble and drove over to help. Thank God no one was harmed and no other buildings were affected. Destroyed grain silos in the port of Beirut collapsed second after two years after the massive explosion that ruined entire neighborhoods in the capital of the Lebanon. The explosion in Lebanon occurred on August 4th, 2020, at the port of Beirut. It was caused by the detonation of improperly stored ammonium nitrate, a highly explosive material which had been stored unsafely for several years. In an unexpected turn of events at a gas station in China, it's an unclear reason as to why the driver drove away while still pumping gas. Then the gas pump was pulled and fell down, causing a large fire that spread to other vehicles waiting to fill up. Fortunately, people responded promptly with fire extinguishers before firefighters arrived to help. The incident is a valuable lesson for all drivers when buying gasoline. Be careful. A startling manhole explosion in a car narrowly escaped being hit by an exploding manhole cover at Setor Commercial Norte. Security cameras captured the billowing smoke from the incident, which occurred on a quiet Saturday, fortunately without injuries among pedestrians or vehicles. Join the conversation with us. Share your thoughts and hit that subscribe button to receive our most up-to-date videos. Newark Liberty International Airport, situated in New Jersey, is one of the busiest airports in the United States. In February 2019, a fire broke out at a parking garage near Terminal C of Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey. The fire primarily affected a section of the parking garage where several vehicles were parked. Flames engulfed multiple cars, leading to billowing smoke and intense heat. Emergency responders swiftly arrived to contain the fire, evacuate the area, and prevent its spread to adjacent structures. 
This incident underscores the special importance of fire safety measures in public spaces. The Bronx, a borough of New York City, is the birthplace of hip-hop to iconic landmarks such as the Bronx Museum of the Arts and the New York Botanical Garden. Recently, in a harrowing scene in the Bronx, an apartment building's partial collapse plunged a bustling neighborhood into chaos. Witnesses recounted a terrifying chain of collapses, floors cascading down, leaving a mountain of debris. Panic ensued as people ran for safety amidst the thunderous roar. Rescue teams tirelessly searched the rubble using drones, power tools, and dogs in a frantic effort to find survivors. The cataclysmic event left a haunting scene of destruction and also a lesson about safety management in apartment buildings. Marina is a city located in Monterey County on the central coast of California. Nine months ago, a huge fire engulfed Safe Harbor Great Lakes Marina on Muskegon Lake resulting in extensive damage estimated at millions of dollars. The blaze, contained to a single building, ravaged approximately 150 boats stored for winter, causing widespread smoke and heat damage. Thankfully, no injuries were reported during the incident, which required hours of firefighting efforts to quell. Despite structural damage to the building, it wasn't deemed a total loss. Firefighters finally cleared the scene after a rigorous six-hour battle. During a summer break four years ago, Lee Middle and High School experienced a catastrophic roof collapse, luckily devoid of casualties as no one was present. Built in 1925, the affected school section necessitates closure for repairs, causing Havana Street closure. A city inspection addressed issues from snow accumulation on a different part of the roof, revealing no regular checks for school buildings. This catastrophic incident underscores the need for stricter building safety regulations to avert potential tragedies. The truth is that the fire can happen anywhere. It's not only in business residential areas or abandoned buildings occupied by homeless people, it can also take place in the field where the harvest comes. You are now watching a fire at two combine harvesters in Novi Dvorica. flames leapt from the engines of both harvesters and engulfs the mechanical giants. The combine harvesters, once symbols of productivity and efficiency, now stand transformed into towering torches across the fields. Not only fire on the road, vehicles can be faced with the sinkhole catastrophe. This is a shocking moment when a sinkhole swallowed numerous parked vehicles. A car park collapsed following heavy rainfall in a Chinese city, which broke the local monthly record in just seven days. Several vehicles were hung at the edge of the sinkhole. The hole was also filled up with rainwater which flowed to nearby residential buildings. Unbelievable! Eleven months ago, two helicopters collided mid-air near SeaWorld in Broadwater, Australia. The incident occurred around 2 p.m., causing both aircraft to crash land on a sandbank close to SeaWorld Resort. One helicopter was taking off while the other was landing, resulting in the collision. Authorities worked to understand the circumstances surrounding this tragic event. Six years ago in Brazil, a tragic incident unfolded with a massive pileup involving 36 vehicles. The calamity took place on a highway bridge near Sao Paulo, sparked by a collision between two heavy lorries, one transporting cans of paint and the other laden with scrap metal. The impact ignited a raging inferno that engulfed the vehicles and veiled the area in thick smoke. The obscured view led to a chain reaction of collisions, with cars behind unable to halt in time. There's empathy for the victims caught in such a terrifying situation. Let's hope for better safety measures to prevent such catastrophic events in the future. The Holbeck Hall Hotel was situated on a clifftop overlooking the North Sea in England. 
In the early hours of the morning on June 5, 1993, a section of the cliff, estimated to be about 40 metres wide, collapsed into the sea, taking a portion of the hotel with it. Heavy rainfall had caused erosion of the cliff beneath the hotel's foundations, leading to a landslide. This was a dramatic example of coastal erosion and its potential dangers. It raised awareness about the risks associated with building on or near cliffs. A FedEx cargo jet that crashed at Tokyo's main international airport. We're strong advocates for making moments a two-way exchange, not just a monologue. Join the conversation, share your thoughts, and hit that subscribe button to be a part of the journey. Bronivich is a village located in central Poland. The region features a mix of plains and lowlands. A dramatic event unfolded last year when an electrical short circuit ignited a fierce fire within the heart of the village. The initial spark erupted into a blaze that voraciously consumed everything in its path. The acrid smell of burning materials filled the air, the crackling of burning wood, the smoke billowing ominously upwards, forming a dark shroud that eclipsed the blue sky. Firefighters then promptly stopped it and no one was hurt. However, it was an unforgotten event for all the village residents. In a jolting collision, an SUV crashed into the Phantom Fireworks store, Florida, triggering a fierce blaze that swiftly engulfed the entire building. The force of impact ruptured the store front, sending shards of glass and sparks flying. Inside, the collision ignited an inferno, setting ablaze the fireworks and combustibles on the shelves. Amidst exploding pyrotechnics and billowing smoke, firefighters battled the relentless flames, their hoses dousing the fire's fury. The scene, fraught with chaos and danger, slowly yielded to their efforts, leaving behind a smoldering wreckage. Everett, Washington, positioned in Snohomish County, nestled between the saltwater Port Gardner Bay and the Snohomish River, July 2020, in Bengal. A massive four-alarm fire torched through a waterfront apartment complex under construction in Everett, creating a raging inferno. The repercussions extended beyond the construction site, leaving a trail of destruction that reached two nearby homes up a hill, their structures bearing the scars of the fierce flames. The event was a somber reminder of the importance of preparedness, swift response, and courage. Sao Paulo, Brazil's vibrant culture and financial hub is a sprawling metropolis renowned for its diverse population. Like many large cities, it faces challenges with homelessness. Sao Paulo has a significant homeless population, estimated to be in the thousands. The devastating fire and subsequent building collapse in Sao Paulo, Brazil occurred on May 1, 2018. The incident took place at the Wilton Pais de Almeida building, a high-rise abandoned structure in the city center. The building was formerly a headquarters for the federal police, but had been occupied by a homeless population. A massive fire broke out, quickly engulfing the upper floors of the building. The fire spread rapidly and overwhelmed the firefighters' efforts, leading to the complete destruction of the 26-story building. The collapse sent debris and rubble cascading onto nearby streets, affecting surrounding buildings and causing further damage. Bozeman is a city located in the state of Montana, U.S. It lies amidst breathtaking mountain ranges, including the Bridger Range to the northeast and the Gallatin Range to the south. An explosion occurred early 2021, a result of a gas truck careening into a propane tank and a Montana concrete mixing plant. Holy 
Flames erupted with ferocity, birthing a colossal fireball that engulfed the immediate surroundings. It stood as a visceral testament to the volatile nature of such incidents, a stark reminder of the potential devastation lurking within industrial settings. Seoul, the capital of South Korea, sits along the Han River and is a vibrant metropolis spanning 605 square kilometers. April 2021, a deafening roar pierced the air as a gas explosion ripped through a bustling neighborhood belonging to the capital. A chaotic scene of billowing smoke. Besides, flames danced wildly, consuming structures and sending sparks cascading into the air. This catastrophe highlights the importance of safety measures for Seoul City and other capitals in the world. During Storm Kira in Scotland, a harrowing event unfolded as a building succumbed to the powerful weather, collapsing into a nearby river. Structural failure was a stark consequence of the storm's relentless battering. Randers is a charming city in Denmark. It's a harbor area along the Gudania River and serves as an important port for the city, facilitating trade and transportation. The coal crane event at Randers Haven was an unexpected spectacle that unfolded one afternoon. Perhaps due to an unforeseen mechanical malfunction or an unbalanced load, the mammoth structure groaned, swayed, and then tilted with an eerie slow-motion grace and collapse. The once sturdy coal crane, now prone on the ground, became an unintended centerpiece, a symbol of both the harbor's strength and its vulnerability. The scene, a testament to the unpredictability of roads, echoed urgency and disruption. Video of a semi-truck lost control rolled over in Maryland two years ago. Oh my god, that motherfucker just flipped this truck right in front of me. Never ignore a big blinking slow down so you don't roll over sign. Capacitor and transformer station fires can pose significant hazards due to the high voltage and electrical energy involved. When a capacitor fails, it can release stored energy rapidly. Leading to overheating, explosion or fire. Such fires can emit toxic smoke potentially cause damage to surrounding equipment or infrastructure. Yep. Preventative measures and rigorous safety standards are paramount in minimizing the risks associated with these types of fires in electrical infrastructure. You're watching a high voltage line in California fall across a wood and metal fence. A bush became an arc from the voltage. The wire then fell against a tree that cooked from the inside and screamed in agony as the moisture turned to steam. Everything touching the fence was electrified, so many small flyers flared up. Ah, you know, there's a bridge collapse during a ribbon-cutting ceremony in Democratic Republic of Congo last year. Unbelievable. In another hot news in a Saskatchewan community, another bridge collapses only six hours after opening. 
An official said a geotechnical study of a riverbed wasn't done before the structure was built in the rural municipality of Clayton. So sad. Rich County is situated in the northeastern part of the Utah state. It's a relatively small county known for its beautiful rural character. A propane fueled fire ravaged a tranquil mobile home park on Bear Lake's south side in Rich County. In a swift and devastating sweep, three homes were reduced to rubble, with a fourth standing battered and severely damaged by the blaze. The crackling flames and acrid smoke painted a scene of chaos, met by the valiant efforts of emergency responders battling to contain the inferno. A vehicle parked innocuously along the roadside in Katori City, Chiba, suddenly became the epicenter of chaos as flames erupted from its hood. The initial flicker of flames quickly escalated, licking at the vehicle's exterior. Within moments, billowing plumes of dark smoke began to spiral into the sky. This is one of the typical examples of catastrophes in life that anyone can meet on the road. There is no specific information about the cause of the fire, but the driver is thought to be safe because he has escaped from the car before it burned. Florida International University Bridge was a pedestrian bridge that was under construction to connect the FIU campus to the city of Sweetwater. The bridge was designed to be an innovative structure using accelerated bridge construction. Tragically, the bridge collapsed on March 15, 2018, while it was still in the process of being installed, crushing several vehicles that were passing underneath. The FIU just collapsed out of nowhere. There's cars stuck under there. Workers are hurt, they're helping work. Investigations into the collapse suggested that a key structural component, a diagonal truss, had experienced significant cracking prior to the incident. The collapse prompted scrutiny and raised questions about the safety and oversight of infrastructure projects. Boston is a major city located in the Northeast United States. Boston borders the Atlantic Ocean and has a significant waterfront area, contributes to its unique charm and appeal. Recently, a raging fire tore through a triple-decker residence on Arlington Street in Boston. It engulfed the rear porch decks of 21 Ellington Street. The fire rapidly escalated, prompting a six-alarm response as it leapt to adjacent buildings, narrowly missing a third home by inches. Despite the heroic efforts of firefighters, heavy damage befell some structures. The incident is a deep warning about fire prevention and prevention in the community, even the most modern and civilized places. Join the conversation with us. Share your thoughts and hit that subscribe button to receive our most up-to-date videos. In July, a crane collapsed on two terraced houses in East London. Another video of three massive cranes collapsing during Hurricane Irma in 2018. The May 2017 crane accident in South Korea stands as a catastrophic event that shook the nation. Amidst the bustling port city of Gog, tragedy struck as two towering cranes collided and collapsed at a Samsung Heavy Industries-owned shipyard. The sheer force of the crane's fall not only caused devastation in its immediate vicinity, but also sent shockwaves throughout the country, highlighting the fragility of safety measures in industrial settings. Ankara, the capital of Turkey, is situated in the central part of the country. It's also a political and administrative center. A tragic incident occurred in the capital of Turkey in December 2018. A high-speed train collided with a railway engine at Marsindi station and subsequently crashed into a pedestrian overpass. 
The collision resulted in big damage. The high-speed train was reportedly traveling from Ankara to the central province of Konya when it collided with the railway engine at the station, causing significant damage to both the train and the overpass. The force of the impact caused multiple carriages to derail and crash into the overpass, leading to a chaotic and tragic scene. This devastating accident highlighted the importance of stringent safety measures and maintenance protocols within the railway system to prevent such catastrophic events and ensure the well-being of passengers and the public using railway services. Eight years ago, amid strong waves and roaring winds, Duplo Ferry sank due to the forces of nature. The relentless assault of waves breached its hull, flooding the decks and tilting it into a fateful descent. The ferry teetered, listed, and engulfed slowly while passengers scrambled for safety. Finally, the ferry succumbed, slipping beneath the water, leaving a haunting silence in its wake. Crimea is a peninsula located in the Black Sea, connected to the southern part of Ukraine. It has a varied coastline that spans around 1,000 miles. Last year, a huge storm in the Black Sea has wrecked Russian defenses in Crimea and devastated Sochi, an important port city on Russia's western coast. Footage shows huge waves washing ashore, damaging buildings and inundating promenades along the seafront. Winds gusted up to 80 miles per hour with waves up to 30 feet. Trenches, coastal barriers were washed away on the western coast of Crimea, close to Sevastopol. Meanwhile, in Sochi, Russia's largest resort city, similar scenes played out. In the heart of Bronzeville, a three-story building collapsed, triggering a large-scale cleanup following what officials termed as a catastrophic failure. There you go. There it is. Residents, from newcomers to long-standing locals, expressed astonishment at the sudden downfall. Thank God no one was hurt. Thank you for staying with us throughout this incredible journey. We'd love to hear which moment resonated with you the most. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. See you in the next video.